Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll look into how to make a line following robot. So up until now, like I had never made a line following robot. I was always in the impression that it would be difficult or like I never had a use case and I didn't even try it. So like my impression was it would require some lengthy programming, but it turns out to be really simple using scratch so first we'll look into the working principle so basically you have two sensors one left sensor one right sensor and if both are detecting white color it means the black line is in the between so that means you have to just keep on moving forward now if the left sensor is on the black line and the right sensor is detecting white color it means you have turned right so you have to turn left to balance similarly if the left sensor is detecting white color and the right sensor is detecting black color it means your position is left and you have to turn right to offset the same now in general like uh, to stop the robot you put a black tape like that horizontally so when the both the sensors detect black color it means the robot has to stop so we'll see how it is programmed in scratch so this condition when this flag is clicked you run this loop forever and in this forever loop you basically check four conditions so let me separate it this one two three four so basically the first condition is if the left side color is white and the right side color is also white then you simply move forward second condition is if the left side color is black and the right side sensor is detecting white then you have to turn left the third condition is if the left side color is white and the right side color is black then you have to turn right and the fourth and the final condition is if both the left side and the right side color are black then you have to stop so in the forever loop we will check this four condition and do the operation accordingly and just to see the effects I had put a small delay So this is our program of line following robot as you can see how easy it is to code the same using scratch so now we'll just see a demo of the same Thank 